The A-Link T42S is one of the most popular IP phones on the market today, and this video is going to help you get one set up and configured, so stay tuned. Hi, thanks for checking out our video on the Yealink T42S. My name is Chris with Accent, and today we're going to be doing a quick review and walkthrough of setup of this guy right here, the Yealink T42S IP phone. Part of the T series of uh, IP phones, Yealink's T42S is one of the most popular uh, models on the market today. And its balance of price point and feature set makes it a great entry level IP phone for your standard business user, your standard office environment. Before we get started on the setup, uh, I want to thank you for joining. And if you would, give this video a like, drop us a comment below, or check us out at accentvoice.com. Uh, you can even subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all kinds of different videos regarding IP phone setup, product reviews, VoIP topics, cloud services discussions, and general industry content. So let's take a look at the Yealink T42S. We've got the spec sheet right here from Yealink, downloaded off their website. I'm just going to run down a couple of the uh, features and the high points of the phone device before we actually get into the setup and configuration. We do have an unconfigured phone here today, and we're going to be configuring it on the Voice One Connect Cloud, which uh, fully supports all different models of Yealink phones, along with other brands such as Cisco, Polycom, Grandstream, etc. But today we're going to be focusing on the T42S cloud setup. So some highlights of the T42S include a 2.7 inch LCD screen with backlight, uh, supports a wide range of codecs, including Opus, G711, G722, um, G729 A and B, and G726, among others. The uh, phone supports up to 12 SIP accounts. We're going to be configuring one today, but you could configure up to 12 on this device. And it has uh, six feature keys that are programmable. Uh, along the side of the display right here, along with four contextual soft keys for different menu options as you're utilizing the phone. The phone features uh, a variety of dedicated feature keys, including uh, redial, voicemail, headset, mute, and speakerphone, along with volume controls. And it is a paperless display and phone, so it's completely digital. You don't have to worry about replacing any paper displays, which some of you still might have those on your business phones, actually. It's uh, got two gigabit ethernet ports. Generally speaking, you'll have a ethernet cable, like you see right here, come into the phone, and then one, one go out to a PC or workstation. Both of those are gigabit, so it's gigabit pass through there. Make sure you're not losing any speed, and the, the phone isn't choking the data network. Supports power over Ethernet, which is a good thing, and uh, supports both a wired and wireless headset with electronic hook switch support, which means if you've got a wireless headset, you can hit that button on your wireless headset if it supports electronic hook switch, and the phone will go off hook and answer automatically. And it's also wall mountable, so we've got a little stand right here on the side you can see, but you can take that stand off and you can easily mount the T42S on the, on the wall so that you can put it in common areas, break rooms, kitchens, things of that nature. Now we've broken down the physical features of the phone and some of the physical high points. What about some of the phone features? Uh, the phone supports all your standard SIP features and functions. Call forward, transfer, mute, answer, do not disturb, supports three-way conference calling, uh, DTMF, everything that you would expect from a standard SIP device in the Yealink T4 series. If you use the T4 series, you're going to see, or really if you use any Yealink phone, you're going to see the interface and the features that support it are very similar. Yealink does a great job of maintaining consistency across all of their devices. Uh, it's just packed into a little more economic and uh, de device here. The T42S goes for about, on average, $100 a device. You can find it all over the place online. If you've got uh, a Yealink T42, or you've got several of them for that matter, you might be here for the setup portion, which is coming up momentarily. And if you're looking for a phone system or a cloud service that you can integrate the T42S with, 
I would recommend you visit AccentVoice.com where we fully support all the Yealink model phones and you can get started online for under $20 a month with the Yealink T42S. All right, with that, we're going to head over to Setup. We're going to configure the phone, set it up on the cloud. We're actually going to configure a couple of BLF keys and get you off the ground here. All right, so we're in front of our computer now, and we're going to log into the web interface of the T42S phone so we can configure it against our phone system or our cloud service and get it set up and registered and then configure a couple of the feature keys as well. So the first step is to capture the phone's IP address. Hopefully you've already done that. If you haven't, you can do so through the phone interface. Uh, if you've got that IP address, you're just going to want to enter that in a web browser here. Okay, so we're going to browse to the phone and then enter our user credentials. Now, if you've got a fresh Yealink phone and it's either been factory reset or you just bought it from Yealink, the credentials are going to be admin for the username and admin for the password. And so you're going to want to make sure if those aren't the credentials that you've got the credentials or you can just factory reset the phone and that generally will reset the credentials as well. The uh, first screen as we log in here that we're presented with is the status screen. Just shows you some basic info about the phone, uh, whether or not any of the accounts are registered, some of the network setup info, et cetera. It's pretty standard here. What I like about the Yealink phones is that all of the phone models, regardless of uh, the type of phone that you're, you're dealing with across the Yealink brand, all the interfaces look the same, the firmware and the, the web interface. So it makes it really easy to jump right in and know where you are and where you need to be. So we need to be on the account tab right here. And from the account tab, we're gonna be configuring account one. You can hit this drop down and you can configure the 12 different SIP accounts that the phone supports. We're really just gonna set it up for account one here. So first off, we're just gonna give this account a name and a display name. We're gonna use our extension, which is 3403 for both of those, but you can change that uh, if you'd like, or if you feel so inclined. Our register name is gonna be 3403-accent. And our username is going to be the same. Now you're going to get that information from either your phone system administrator or your cloud service provider, depending on what you're using to set this phone up. If you don't have that information, you can't set this phone up. You've got to have a username, a register name, and a password to get a SIP phone registered to a SIP phone system. It's very important. We're going to put our password in here. Those two things are critical. So if, like I said, if you don't have those things, you can contact uh, your phone system administrator, or if you're looking for some credentials to get your phone set up, you can contact us at accentvoice.com and we can get you set up on the Voice One Connect Cloud. We're using that service today and our host is going to be connect.accentservices.com. And from there, we don't really need to enter anything more just to get initially set up and registered. So I'm just going to confirm this, and then I'm just going to make the line active. And now we see the device is registered, and we're registered to the phone system. So from here, we could actually make and take calls and, um, you know, kind of basic setup of the phone. I'm just going to jump over to Codex here momentarily. And uh, we mentioned earlier in the video that uh, the 42S supports a, a wide range of codecs. Here we're actually going to be using PCMU, which is G711, and uh, that's going to be the codec that we uh, want to uh, enable. But if you've got a codec that you prefer, you can always just highlight one of the codecs on the left, click the arrow over here, and it appears in the Enabled Codecs Options window, and then you can prioritize your codecs by moving those up and down as well. Uh, codecs are important for specific phone systems and providers. If you're system or your provider is uh, only supporting one or a couple of codecs and your phone doesn't have uh, that codec or you don't have that codec enabled the system supports you're not going to be able to, to take the call you're not going to have any audio we're going to discard our changes okay back to our account and i mentioned we want to set up a couple of feature keys we're going to do that via the dss key tab right here uh, by default, we've got a couple of uh, lines already configured on our phone, so we're just using the default uh, value and the type of line. That gives us two line keys on the phone. Um, like that, so you can have multiple call appearances. 
manage a couple of different calls simultaneously. If you want to add more line keys, you can always just hit this drop down and select line. You can mimic these settings here if you'd like. Make sure you're choosing uh, line one, which is your account one. Uh, this is, the phone won't default to that automatically, so you want to make sure you choose line one, otherwise you won't, the, that button won't be active. We're not going to enable line key three though, we do want to enable line key four. And we're going to make this a BLF. BLF stands for busy lamp field. It's basically a programmable speed dial, which also shows the presence of a user or the extension you're going to program it for. So here we're going to give it the value of 3533, that's the extension. And we want to label that Chris, so just we have a, a, a label for that extension. Then we're going to tell the phone system, or excuse me, we're going to tell the phone we're monitoring extension 3533 for quick dial and presence. And then we're going to do the same thing for a line key 5, only we're going to make it a different extension and a different name. And then we'll confirm that. And there you have it. So we've got two uh, BLF keys set up now on the T42S phone. Those keys will, act, will function as BLFs, will function as quick dials, and uh, they'll go uh, red and green depending on whether or not the person's on the phone, respectively. So we've got the phone registered. We have the uh, BLF keys program. We've got the codex set up. We're pretty much ready to use the phone. We can go back and, and make a test call and check that out as well. Things like voicemail will be active. Um, you know, Features like answer, reject, transfer conference hold will all be there now at this point because they're all supported in the standard uh, SIP protocol. So uh, let's go back and check out the phone and finish up. So we're back after setup and config of the 42S on the Voice One Cloud. You can see we've got the configured phone here. We've got a couple of active uh, line keys, we've got our BLF keys as well, and you even have a voicemail message right here waiting on the extension. So easy setup, configured phone. We can uh, you know, hit this BLF here and make a call. Hi, you've reached Chris Cameron on the Voice One Connect Cloud System. I'm currently on. All right, that was my extension there, actually picking up voicemail because I've got my phone to do not disturb. So you can see we're active on the call, on the uh, Voice One Connect Cloud with the A-Link T42S. Uh, quick and easy setup as most of the A-Link devices are, but if you need some support or you're interested in understanding how you can use your A-Link phones or if your A-Link phones or any model phone for that matter works with a, a cloud phone system or a PBX, you want to check us out at AccentVoice.com. Uh, I want to thank you for checking out this video as well. Give us a like. If you've got a question, put it down in the comments below. And if you'd like to, subscribe to our channel where we serve up all kinds of VoIP content, product reviews, uh, overviews of uh, VoIP features and functions, and just industry discussion in general. This has been Chris with Accent, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.